Hey guys, welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use scenes within SketchUp. Um, we're gonna create some scenes in our model and then I'm gonna show you how to navigate between them. It's gonna be a really quick video, but I hope it will help you out there. Um, so let's jump straight on into SketchUp. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is what it's like to have scenes in your model. So I've got um, a garden scene here that I was working on. Um, it's a previous project. So you'll notice in my SketchUp model, I have these little tabs that say scene one uh, all the way to scene five. Now, if you don't have any scenes, you won't have these tabs at the moment, but I'll show you how to add those in in a second. Um, but what a scene does is essentially when I click on it, it will position my camera to a set location. So if you want to create renders from uh, particular points, you'll use scenes to kind of set up your camera and kind of lock it in place. And then you can update the scene so you can add different geometry, um, you can change textures, loads of different things like that. But what it means is your camera is in a static position and you remember where you saved your camera. So I'll just go through the scenes and you'll be able to see that the camera kind of automatically uh, pivots and moves towards uh, the location I selected for the scene. Also, you can see that objects are hiding as well as uh, appearing in each scene. So that's something you can do as well. So if you need to hide a wall, um, like this example here, to show the full garden, you can see that when I uh, click on my scene, um, that wall will hide automatically. So yeah, that's an example of how scenes can be useful. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna delete these scenes and I'm gonna show you how to create them for yourself. So I have a blank model now with no scenes. You can see those tabs have disappeared from uh, the model interface and I'm free to create a scene in any position I want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanted to get the scene uh, showing the kind of the full base of the garden, the full front of the garden and kind of fit it all in one shot. And to do that, what I need to do is actually hide this house block that I created. So I'm just gonna hide that there, showing hidden geometry at the moment, so I'll just turn that off. What I wanna do is just come down and position my camera like that. So once your camera's in position, uh, what you can do is you go to your default tray so if your default tray is not showing up, make sure you go to a window, default tray, and make sure show trays on. Um, so do that to start with. Also, you wanna make sure that scenes is toggled on. So uh, in, in this area here, you'll see that scenes is ticked. You wanna make sure that's ticked in your default tray. So if I go to my default tray, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pin it in place um, so it doesn't hide. And yours should look something like this. Uh, I'm just gonna close these tabs and minimize them. So you can kind of see normally the instructor is open for some reason that will probably be open on yours um, but we can just ignore that what you want to do is find your scenes tab so mine's here i'm gonna click the drop down arrow and it's pretty simple really all you need to do is click plus to add a scene uh, minus to remove a scene and there's a few other settings here that i'll show you in a bit so with my camera in position and the objects that i want to be hidden hidden i'm just going to click the little plus arrow in the scenes box and that has now created my first scene. So if I move my camera elsewhere and say I wanna unhide the house, if I click on my scene one, it's gonna automatically bring my camera to that position and it's gonna hide the house for me, which is great. So to create, create the second scene, uh, let's bring back our house. We might want this in the second scene. And let's hide this uh, left-hand side wall. Just a little side note, when I press Control H, I've set up view hidden geometry in my preferences uh, to a keyboard shortcut of Control H. I just think it increases the productivity and the workflow um, way more than having it when you go view and show hidden geometry. I think it's way more efficient. So I've set that up as Control H. I do recommend doing that and I think I've got a video on that somewhere. So with my side wall hidden, I'm basically gonna repeat the process, position my camera um, to where I think looks best. So about there and I'm just gonna click the plus icon to create another scene. Now, say you created a scene, but you want to add another element or you wanna hide another element. So my scene two at the moment is like that, but say for some reason I wanted to make sure that this uh, section is hidden also. Uh, if I now click scene two, it's gonna bring back that section which we don't want. So say if I wanted to hide this as well, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna hide it and then hide that second wall. So now all I need to do is update the scene to keep the changes that I made. So by hiding this wall, I wanna basically click on my scene, make sure it's highlighted. You get this little blue box around it. Come to this little menu icon and just click update scene. It's gonna come up with a bunch of uh, properties to update. 
these are all kind of properties that we want to um, update and as you can see you can basically update everything so you can update the shadows uh, the style all sorts of different things will be affected by your scenes i'll click update and now say if i go from scene one to scene two it's now updated and i no longer have that second wall uh, in the background so let me just add one more scene so say if i'm gonna reveal these walls again so i'm gonna keep these like that and say i want to do kind of a bird's eye view shot kind of from a, from a top window almost looking down so maybe i want to hide this house like that and i can just create one more scene like that now there are extra options so you can go show details you can see all the details here you can actually include it in the animation now to animate your scenes which basically means they go from one scene to the other if you go to view and then animation and then click play you'll see that basically what it does is it animates between each scene so it's going to go scene one scene two scene three and just repeat um, which is pretty cool i'm not really sure why or when I'd use that, maybe giving a presentation. Um, and I think there's a few more settings in that where you can adjust that, but I don't really use that um, in my working life, to be honest. To remove scenes, all you need to do is uh, highlight the scene. You can right click it and click delete scene, or you can press the little remove scenes um, with this arrow. Like so you can also uh, reorder the scenes using these little arrows here. So you can move them up and down. You can change the size of the thumbnails um, and the details. And that's another button to update scenes, but I prefer doing it through this way um, because sometimes it doesn't actually update. You use that little circular thing and it doesn't update the geometry. So I tend to do it through the menu, but yours may differ, yours may be fine. Um, that's basically everything covered in scenes. Uh, I hope that was helpful to you. It's a pretty simple tool to use, but um, for anyone struggling or having difficulty with it, I hope this video clears up any questions or um, thoughts you may have had about scenes. If you'd like to learn anything more about SketchUp, um, please check out my channel. I've got loads of good videos on little tips and tricks on SketchUp. Also, if you were to, you're a complete beginner or like an intermediate SketchUp user and you'd like to get better at 3D modeling and rendering, I am running some really good Skillshare courses at the moment on my Skillshare page. Um, that'll be linked below. You will get one month free if you sign up using my link. Um, which is a really good offer actually and I've got some really good content and videos on there. Other than that guys I hope you enjoyed this quick quick lesson on scenes in SketchUp. Um, I'll see you in the next video and have a good day wherever you are. Bye!